Wishing you a day full of energy. If you're feeling excited too, leave a one and join me on a fascinating journey inside giant deer farms, where farmers earn millions of dollars from the precious venison and antler velvet. Raising deer for meat and antler velvet is becoming an increasingly thriving industry in many countries. It is especially popular in regions with favorable natural conditions, such as New Zealand, Canada, and China. In addition to providing a rich source of nutrition, deer farming also offers significant economic value thanks to antler velvet, a precious product widely used in medicine and dietary supplements. The deer farming process requires a deep understanding of the animal's physiology and habitat while also demanding careful preparation in terms of housing, nutrition, and disease prevention measures. Selecting the right deer breed is a key factor in farming giant deer, helping to maximize the value of both meat and antler velvet. Breeds such as red deer, musk deer, and wild deer are well suited for farm conditions due to their high resilience and rapid growth. To achieve the best quality, the breeding selection process requires farmers to pay close attention to genetic traits, health, and reproductive capabilities. Each deer breed has different growth characteristics and environmental requirements, so farmers must conduct thorough research before making a selection. Deer farms should have spacious, well-ventilated enclosures that closely resemble the animal's natural habitat. The farm area typically ranges from 1 to 2 hectares, depending on the farm scale and the number of deer being raised. Each enclosure can accommodate between 20 and 50 deer, depending on the breed and farming purpose. To ensure optimal growth, farms should have separate areas for male and female deer, as well as designated spaces for free movement and feeding. Additionally, deer thrive in temperate climates or regions with cold winters, so temperature conditions need to be carefully controlled. In tropical countries, deer farming requires environmental adjustments, such as cooling systems and sheltering facilities to protect the animals from extreme weather conditions. Lever 1 if your country also raises deer. The nutritional regimen of deer plays a crucial role in their health and the quality of their antler velvet. As herbivores, deer require a rich and balanced diet consisting of fresh grass, fruits, and supplementary feed to ensure adequate energy and nutrients. To achieve ideal weight and healthy development, adult male deer need to consume 2.5 to 3.5 kilograms of food per day, with a protein ratio of 14 to 16 percent, along with calcium and phosphorus.
Female deer require about 2.0 to 3.0 kilograms of food daily, with a protein content of 12 to 15% to maintain good health and reproductive capacity. For young deer, mother's milk is the primary food source in the first few months of life, after which they gradually transition to supplementary feed, requiring around 1.5 to 2.5 kilograms per day. Deer have a seasonal reproductive cycle, with mating typically occurring in the fall, from September to November. Male deer produce distinctive calls to attract females, and after a gestation period of approximately 230 to 240 days, female deer give birth in the spring, usually between May and June. Females typically give birth to a single fawn at a time, although twins can occur, but this is rare. The reproductive characteristics of deer directly impact herd development, making breed management, reproductive health, and proper care essential. Deer are susceptible to several infectious diseases and parasites, such as rabies, pneumonia, and intestinal parasites. To protect herd health, farmers should implement regular vaccinations, conduct routine health checks, and maintain a well-balanced nutrition plan. The process of harvesting deer antler velvet requires precise techniques and must be performed at the right time to ensure optimal quality. Velvet is typically harvested when it reaches a length of about 25 to 40 centimeters, approximately 45 to 60 days after it begins to grow, mainly in the spring and early summer, when the velvet is still soft, nutrient-rich, and at its highest value. If left too long, the velvet will gradually harden into antlers, reducing its nutritional and commercial value. Before harvesting, the deer is gently restrained to minimize stress, and a local anesthetic is applied to reduce pain. The harvester uses a specialized knife or saw to quickly remove the velvet, followed by disinfecting and bandaging the wound to prevent infection. During the harvesting season, deer care must be given special attention, including a diet rich in protein, calcium, and minerals to stimulate the regeneration of new velvet. Deer meat is harvested through a strict process to ensure quality and food safety. With its high nutritional value, rich in protein and low in fat, deer meat is used in many gourmet dishes such as steaks, hot pots, and sausages. On the market, deer meat prices range from $20 to $50 per kilogram, with each deer yielding approximately 30 to 60 kilograms of meat, providing high economic value and an attractive source of income for farmers. Leave a zero if you don't like deer meat. Deer antler velvet also holds significant value, not only in the handicraft industry, but also in traditional medicine. It is processed into products such as supplements, pharmaceuticals, and decorative items. Complete antler velvet sets, especially those with large size and high quality, can be worth thousands of dollars. On the market, antler velvet prices range from $2,000 to $10,000 per kilogram, depending on its quality and size.
The business of deer byproducts provides a significant source of income for farmers. Deer hides, with their soft and durable material, are used to produce high-quality leather products such as wallets, handbags, and shoes. Additionally, other products like deer hooves, bones, and antlers also hold value, being crafted into decorative items and handmade tools. The deer farm tourism model is becoming increasingly popular, where visitors can not only tour the farm but also participate in exciting activities such as antler velvet harvesting, deer watching, and taking photos with the deer. This is a great opportunity to experience rural life and learn about the deer care process. The profits from ticket sales, along with the sale of farm products like antler velvet, venison, and handcrafted items, create a stable income for the farms while also enhancing the value of rural tourism. The decline of wild deer species is primarily due to illegal hunting, leading to the risk of extinction for these species. Deer parts, particularly antler velvet and antlers, are often collected and sold on black markets for very high prices. Deer antler velvet, especially popular in countries like China, is processed into nourishing products such as supplements, bath products, and dietary supplements. Deer antlers are also crafted into various products, ranging from medicines to jewelry and cultural items. These products are often sold through international smuggling networks, particularly in East Asia and Western countries, where deer antler velvet is considered a valuable remedy. Musk deer, native to Japan, are protected in reserves and carefully monitored to preserve biodiversity. Meanwhile, the red deer, one of the largest deer species, though not extinct, is threatened in certain regions, particularly in Asia. Governments and international conservation organizations are working hard to maintain the populations of these two species through strict protection measures.